Hey guys, Chris here. You join me here with the brand new Tesla Model 3 Highland. This is the new revised mid-cycle facelift of the Tesla Model 3. I'm down here in Germany at the International Auto Show. This is a public day. It's early, but it's full and packed of people here. So I'm gonna try to show you guys this car in detail, but it may not be that easy because, yeah, you can see it's crowded, hoping to hop into the driver's seat and show you guys the interior. But before we do that, let me show you guys the exterior of this, the Tesla Model 3 Highland. So as I said, this is a public day. So there's a lot of people here. It's, it's full of people. So if people are walking by the camera, I can't do much about that. But let's take a look at the exterior because this Tesla Model 3, the new version, has a revised front end. You can see that these headlights are completely new. The front design is much more clean and much more reminiscent of the Tesla Roadster concept we saw back in 2017. I have to say, I really do like this red color, especially now in this beautiful weather we have here in Munich. And it looks like, you know, they've just cleaned up the front end just a little bit. The hood is new, the fenders are new, the bumpers are new. Everything is, is brand new and I think it just looks, looks better. This may just be the best looking, you know, electric car in this segment at the moment. So this car is equipped with the 18 inch wheels. So we still have quite small wheels for the entry level model. 235, 45, 18s and we have a new, well, wheel hub design. We have, you know, the aluminum wheel, the, the alloy wheel behind these uh, plastic covers here. Yeah, this whole thing is a plastic cover. And I have to say, I think that this design is of an upgrade on the old design. I, th I, I really like the design. Everything's blacked out and it's nice to see that Tesla, you know, chasing efficiency with small wheels. Other manufacturers are just going big wheels and that gives you a hit on range. So let's see if we can step by here and show you guys the rear end, which is also new. So, you know, the, in profile, the car is pretty much the same, but the rear end, oh, we can take a look at the trunk now. So a lot of people were hoping that with the Highland that we were gonna get a hatch like we do in the Polestar 2. We don't, it's completely unchanged. So we still have, you know, the same trunk. Let's see if we can uh, give you guys a little bit better view here. Just, yeah. So it's pretty much the same. You have the same small opening. You have the charging port here on this side. So let's see if we can just take a close this a little bit electrically operated tailgate and you can see what those new rear lights look like so i think that the rear end of this car is a nice improvement here we have the dual motor version the dual motor and the standard range long rear wheel drive are the only versions available now but we'll probably see a performance version later let me know in the comment section down below guys what do you think do you think this new front and rare design is a nice update. I really do like the rare designs. It's just cleaned up a little bit. We have, you know, this swooping design here now. And then we also have, you know, Tesla badging now instead of the Tesla logo. Also that rare spoiler now, everything is just cleaned up. So let's see if we can hop into the rare seats here. Does it work? <laughs> Testing the door closing sound. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's let's hop in the rear seats. Okay, so we've jumped to using my phone because I don't have enough of a wide angle lens on my camera. Just want to show you guys the rear seats. So Tesla say that this has, you know, and let's see if we just open up the door a little bit so we can extend my hand. So so Tesla say that, you know, the interior of this Tesla Model 3 is, is pretty unchanged. We have new updated front seats. The rear seats also are updated. They're now perforated here in the middle and there's a lot of room here. I don't have a problem. I'm five foot ten, 178 centimeters. You know, headroom in the rear is a little bit cramped. You guy, you're tall, right? Yeah, so I'm two meters six. Two meters six, so you're so sitting like this. In the front this. it's okay, but in the back it's very difficult. Yeah, it's very, very difficult. It's so very cramped, tall people, yeah. but you actually have headroom in front, uh, yeah, behind this guy. it's quite okay. Yeah, head, I mean, leg room is, 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 is nice, yeah. but headroom is... Uh, headroom is difficult in the Model Y. It's mm, yeah, but not good. Yeah. But in the front, it's even better than the old one. Yeah, yeah. So I'm making a YouTube video. Is yeah, it fine? Okay. Yes, it's yes, it's yes, fine yes. <laughs> that that you're on my video. I know in, in Germany you are very strict with your no, privacy that's, laws. That's so okay, that's so okay. I've learned that when in Germany, ask people if they're on camera. Yeah. While other places, well, people uh, don't care. But okay. 
So we can take a look at the leg room as we were talking about here. You can see, I mean, it's it's pretty cramped. I think this seat is, <laughs> yeah, can, can you get out? <laughs> uh, I think so, but it's, it's difficult. <laughs> it's difficult. So we still have the same panoramic sunroof as before that goes all the way back. Uh, pretty, pretty nice. And also a new rare, you know, infotainment system. We have a screen here. I'm not sure if this works. Yeah, this works. So we have media now, we have climate, and this is what we saw with the new model of the Tesla Model S. But you know, overall quality, pretty nice. I do like the door design. That's why it's so hot. The, the heated rear seats are on. My God, that's not, no, no wonder we're sweating. I'm mean, like, it's, it's really hot here. So we have a new rear door design, and then we have ambient lighting strip here. And then we have, you know, I think this is the same, but quality, I, I I, I don't fault the Tesla Model 3 quality because everything from the top of the dash, top of the door to the bottom of the door is, is soft touch materials. We do have, you know, uh, felt lining inside of the doors here, window switches, everything feels really, really nice. And as I say, I do like this light colored interior in this Tesla Model 3. So let's see if we can hop into the front seat and show you guys that. So while we're waiting to hop into the front seat, let's show you guys the front care. I don't know, it looks pretty unchanged. It looks like the same as before. Uh, this being the dual motor version, I think it's smaller than the single range or the standard range with the single rear electric motor because you don't have, you know, uh, the front electric motor in this dual motor version. Finally, guys, we got to sit in the front seat. So let's just adjust this to my driving position. This seat was set very high up. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's a Tesla Model 3. It looks the same but they've just cleaned up the design. I'm really fan of this, you know, material here on top. This just, you know, brightens up the interior and makes it look more modern. Actually, like a little bit more Scandinavian in its design. I also do like the new steering wheel design. Uh, I wasn't a huge fan of the old steering wheel design and everything should be vegan in this interior. Even there's a soft touch material on this and this is pretty insane because down to Germany now, to get here, I was driving a Mercedes EQE 43 EQE SUV 43 AMG, a really expensive car, about 150,000 euros, and that has very cheap materials on the airbag cover. This just feels super, super nice. I'm actually impressed by this. This is much nicer than, than what you actually get in the t new te mo uh, Tesla Model S also. So this is pretty interesting. So, the, so we have the bl new blinker buttons. Yeah, they actually do feel a little bit more clicky. That's what people have been saying. There's like a more defined click to these buttons. Let's take a look at the, uh, yeah. Oh, you actually have a shortcut button to the camera now. That's an upgrade. That's pretty nice. That We did not have that before. That's a smart thing to have on, you know, the steering wheel. So say you're parallel parking, you're parking. Um, and then you just hit this button and then you get a shortcut. That is pretty smart. I actually like that. But what I don't like, we don't have any stocks. Indicator stocks, pretty hard in Europe, you know, where we have a lot of roundabouts. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this. Not sure why they did that, but I have to say the steering wheel, actually, out of all the things, you know, is what I am most impressive, am impressed about. So the screen should be the same, 15.0 inches, but some sort of say 15.4, not sure but everything is just pretty much unchanged, you know, when it comes to the interior. We have a new material here, but the design overall is the same. So you can take a look at what that dashboard looks like. You have an ambient lighting strip that goes across the front and also into the doors. So let's see if we could just get this door a little bit closer. And yeah, I mean, the materials are pretty impressive in this new Tesla Model 3, definitely an upgrade. And you have the soft touch materials here. I think, no, seriously, guys, this now has the same quality of materials as the Tesla Model S, the updated version, because that has, you know, this this uh, faux leather that Tesla uses, which, in my opinion, is the best in is, is, is the best in the business. Like nobody makes as nice feeling, you know, faux leather as as Tesla. And they ha even have it down low here in in the doors and it is carpeted. So I'm pretty sure interested to test out the new upgraded sound system, which goes from 17 uh, from from 14 to 17 speakers. I'll have to do that when I get a car on loan a little bit later on in the year. But overall, you know, this light colored interior, we have, you know, new ventilated and perforated seats. Oh, now the, the cooling is on. Oh, that is pretty nice. So an issue I've had with Tesla seats in the Model 3 and Model Y is that, you know, they're not even perforated. So on a hot summer's day like this here in Munich, you're gonna sweat, your back's gonna sweat, your bottom's gonna sweat, but just having them perforated gives you a little bit of air circulation. Now that they're cooled, yeah, that is pretty nice. 
this is pretty sweet. So overall, pretty impressed by the exterior and the interior of this new Tesla Model 3. So there we go, guys. That was me trying to show you the new Tesla Model 3 with a lot of people around this car. So it's, it's early now. And as you guys can see, it's super busy. It's probably gonna be this busy until they close this evening. So let me know in the comment section down below what you think about this, the new Tesla Model 3. Are you excited? Are you not excited? What electric car are you excited about if not this? I'm pretty excited about testing this. I think the, the improved exterior design, the improved interior, and the improvement in you know, efficiency due to better aerodynamics is a very welcome thing in a package that is already very good. So I can't wait to drive it because my huge gripe about this car is the ride quality and the interior noise that Tesla say they have addressed with the new Tesla Model 3. So I'm pretty excited and this video is probably going to go out before the Polestar 2 test drive I have down here because I was actually able to get my hands on one of those cars to do two videos and I have to say driving that car yesterday and then hopping into this, yeah, competition is getting really, really fierce. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please drop me a thumbs up down below and for more car content, as always, please subscribe. See you guys later and goodbye.